Look, man, at this point, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Um, oh, you know, looking at all your, your cases and everything you've been through, and I know the recent one right now is very sensitive. And with respect to, you know, everybody involved in that case, you know, we can't get into details today. Um, but, you know, we take sexual assault here serious. And we can't, you know, uh, get into details, but we hope, you know, to have you back so we can have a, a deeper conversation about that because... You know, this is a serious topic, and we're hearing these stories a lot. <laughs> you seem upset that I brought it up. Is he about to get up and walk away? <laughs> I feel like <clears throat> sometimes when niggas like be going through shit, like y'all be entertained by bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So it's like change the subject. I'm finna walk out. I think we don't I th have to talk about nothing else. We could be done right here. All right. Come on. <laughs> bring up a rape case or somebody be like hey, I would like to ask you questions about you raping people next time you come <laughs> next time you come on the show Kodak Black is the funniest nigga in the fucking world he world. is he was like yeah, nah <laughs> it's like my fucking people <laughs> y'all be entertained by bullshit tell you something don't walk in that motherfucker you dick <laughs> Listen, yeah, man, ain't, ain't nothing to say on yeah, that. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel no uh, condolences yeah. or no sorrow for a bitch ass nigga that's fucking raping and beating up women. Because everybody's saying that uh, Ebro was wrong for doing it. I don't think Ebro was wrong. No, but, but I think Ebro should have made his stance clear. Like, I'm, we don't co sign motherfucking rappers or men caught up in sexual assault and raping women. And for real, for real, you should have never invited them on the show. Yeah, I guess that, that was my case. thing. Is like, why bring them up there? Yeah, but but that's that same bullshit that we talked about before with the Vic Mensa shit and Joe Buttons and, and Academic. Like, Vic Mensa knew he had an issue with Academic and waited till the camera cut on to express his issue. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Ebro had an issue with what the fuck Kodak Black had been accused of, and instead of coming at that man without the cameras on, yo, I'm gonna keep all the way real. I, 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 we I going in music, but I, what you accused <clears throat> for, I don't really rock with, and I really do have some questions about that shit when we go on the air. And let Kodak Black just have the fucking opportunity to be like, well, then I ain't doing the show and roll out. And That's, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you could go on the camera and just be like, yo, I'm not going to lie. I feel this and this about this. I went and tried to check Kodak Black about it offline. He refused to come on to the show. But, it, but now as, a, as, a, as an entertainer, you, I mean, like not to, not yeah. backing them up, but you got to understand, you're saying some of these cases be, it be bullshit. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like when you in the limelight or you popping, you got these chicks that's throwing themselves at you mm -hmm. on some, you know what I'm saying, on a, on a regular. Mm -hmm. So if we go and do it and do what we do, but you expecting some bread after the end, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, when nothing was solidified, oh, now he raped me. Well, you get what I'm saying? So that's why I don't, I don't really feed into too much without knowing the full story. This, I need footage mm -hmm. or like fat, actual fat. This is my thing with Kodak Black though. Kodak Black is the same nigga who came home from some sort of uh, physical assault case with a female and then had an IG live post to him and his homies running a train on a groupie. Oh, I didn't know about that. You understand what okay. I'm saying? Okay. He's the same dude who's been who's had IG live posts of him getting sucked off. And so <clears throat> you for me, all that to me, all that shit is like pussy shit and bullshit, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Like just keeping this shit of being like all right, you a rap star. We know groupies gonna be sucking your dick, and you gonna be getting you ain't show it. upper echelon ass than what we getting out here in the streets. We know you and your entourage is running through bitches. It's expected. Y'all motherfuckers is six figure dudes. Mm -hmm. when, why you wanna expose yourself and put that shit on camera like that? You know what I'm saying? And so for him, and you know what I'm saying, uh, much respect to the deceased, even with the XXX dude. You know, he came out from the rip. He was in the middle of some legal shit for beating the shit out of some white chick that was supposedly his baby mom or some <coughs> shit like that. You know what I'm saying? For me, I don't co-sign none of that shit. I, like, I watched my mother get beat when I was a young dude and, and in, a, in a position to feel powerless about it. Like, I, I'm not powerless about it right now. I let my voice and my hands speak for me because I'm comfortable. Fuck him. 
You out here doing wild shit to chicks, bro. You get what come back to you. Fuck that nigga, yo. That's all that needs to be said. Right.